Hey guys, welcome to Wise Cracking Blonde. I'm your host, Christina. We have a rematch today. I'm pretty excited. We have Jason Voorhees and Dirty Banana back for round two. I don't know if anybody saw the Halloween episode, but Bianca totally stomped Anthony. Like it was a who it was knew demolition. That Jason Voorhees' downfall was going to be a banana, <laughs> a double tipped banana. Who knew the wise cracking blonde was going to ask the most obscure Halloween question? Oh yeah, we'll just wait for <laughs> clearly today. still better. Also, oh gosh, that just popped into my head that like wouldn't that be an ironic ending to one of these Halloween movies if there was like a banana on the floor? <laughs> and just, like, <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing funnier than somebody slipping banana peel style. Yeah. My sister and I, uh, when we were very young, worked at this barber shop in our neighborhood for extra money. And so we would like sweep hair, whatever. And the lady who ran the place was very concerned because we were so young and it was like not a good labor law situation. <laughs> and so she kept saying like, be careful, be careful, like just be careful, just be careful. And all we were doing is sweeping hair. Like how hard can it be? I look over and my sister, zoop, like <laughs> feet up in the air, head on the ground. <laughs> and I laughed until I cried. Like I couldn't even help That's her. That's standard. Like, well, I hope she's not dead. <laughs> yeah, I had that one. And then I had, I've already told the story before, but it will be with me until I die. Working in a branch where I had a glass office. And so my desk just faced the people waiting in line. And I just saw this lady walk in front of me and then zoop straight up and down oh. and I was like I cannot help this person so I got under my desk <laughs> laughing hysterically called on the intercom to the person at the teller line I was like I need you to handle this <laughs> I can't yeah and thankfully she was fine that branch was full of many elderly people and it was like it was a rough go they ended up having to resurface the tile it was like Ugh. walking at a club where you're just like, uh, like Bambi on ice. that reminds me Last time I hung out with uh, your husband, he told me I had to tell you the story about how I was held at gunpoint when I was a when I worked as a teller. Oh, geez. What? Yeah. Well, let's hear it. Mm -hmm. That was actually the catalyst to lead me into joining the Marine Corps. Long story short, I was in Michigan. The branch had been around for like 23 years, never been robbed ever. And about four months into me working there, all of a sudden we get robbed. The guy comes in, he has an umbrella, he has one of those like spandex masks, you know, that like covers your face and uh, was wearing gloves, had a gun. So he had an umbrella and a gun and a satchel, comes in, takes my customer hostage, puts the gun in my supervisor's face. She froze. She didn't know what to do because she was in a window with no money. So then he puts it in my face. I'm like, okay, I've, I've got the money, whatever. So I give him the money. He takes the money with his umbrella hand. So he's got the umbrella and the money and the gun and this and the person. <laughs> and he's like trying to get out. So I jump over the counter because, you know, the whole deal is, is you're supposed to lock the door when they leave. So I'm uh, chasing him out and the customer and whatever. So he lets her go. She comes in. I lock the door. It was just like the most crazy thing ever. You know, at the very end of it all, you know, the FBI is there. They're questioning you. They're asking. So I'm like, I can draw a sketch. So I just draw this sketch of, you know, a hooded guy with an umbrella. And then it was on the news as the Mary Poppins killer yeah. or like the Mary Poppins robber. Like it was like the craziest thing. I don't know why I picture your sketch being in green crayon. <laughs> just like. Dude, I, I literally was like, I envisioned a stick figure yeah. holding an umbrella. <laughs> with like a, a rectangle with some money on it. Like with a bag sign. that had a dollar sign yeah. on it. <laughs> I mean, essentially it was just a, a like hoodie character with an umbrella in a satchel. <laughs> I know so it's crazy. not funny. I'm sure it's very scary. But the umbrella thing like totally threw me off. Well, it was Michigan too. So it's not like California where, you know, people that want to shade themselves from the sun – they, they carry umbrellas, right. but this was Michigan. No one does that. So it was like, we were just really confused. Like, <laughs> And the fact that they... We, I we imagine him was, like yeah. confusing the gun for the umbrella and like putting the umbrella in his face. Like, give me all your money. <laughs> no, yeah, like, give me all your money. He goes back out. Let's start over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like Seth Rogen trying to rob a bank. Like, Reset. Yeah, this sounds like a comedy There's movie. a musical number. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, today's topic is not banking. You guys right. don't know what it is. I know what it is. 
I'm very excited because this is the only way that I know more than you is that I already know the answers because I research everything. Today's facts are going to be about alcohol. Oh. Ayo. Hey. So I'm coming out of hibernation with my non-boozing. And I'm boozing Same. Today. Cheers. Yeah, Sober exactly. October is no more. <laughs> not going well <laughs> eh, unforeseen circumstances life i do think it's pretty ironic because bianca's boyfriend opted to do sober october and then got sick the month that he decided to, to go sober yeah. so i feel like the moral of the story no. is just keep just drinking don't. okay we are on round three of trying to explain name is your buzzer the way that this show <laughs> works is we play name is your buzzer which is exactly how it sounds so i'm going to read the question Today's episode is about alcohol-related facts in some way, shape, or form. I'm going to read the question. After the question, I'm going to play the goat. After the Anthony. goat, Anthony and or Bianca are going Bianca. to chime in with their name as their buzz. Okay. Question one. Jameson originated in what country? Anthony. Bianca. Oh. I'm going to say Anthony. Uh, what? Ireland. It was Ireland. Uh, I is bitter. Uh, just, just a little <laughs> quicker. That's yeah. It was like a, a millisecond. Yeah. Bonus question. We both got there. Ayo. <laughs> Bonus question. John Jameson was from what country? This is multiple choice. A. Ireland. B. Scotland. Or C. Wales. Bianca. Bianca. Anthony did this on purpose. <laughs> B. It is B. He's from Scotland. Oh, good job. I read I, that. I've seen pictures of him in a kilt. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And oh. what I read was that he was no actually the son-in-law. <laughs> totally making making up facts. That's the yeah. thing is you just have to sell it like it's true. Like you're right? like, yeah, I, yes. yeah, no, I saw a picture of him in a kilt. Mm -hmm. She's pretty good at that. I, uh, my favorite humor is when people are super dry and sarcastic and don't laugh. Like that's, I'm here for it. And so Will Ferrell ends up falling on that list a lot. And I came across a video of him yesterday oh. where he actually was like cracking when he was, he was recording Anchorman and just would have these like modiculous things because it was all the outtake stuff that like never made it. <laughs> yeah. And you know, so they just ad lib every time. And so mm -hmm. every take is different. And so he had these takes where it was just like, Everybody in the room was laughing. Like it was like Paul Rudd and Steve Carell were oh, laughing, his, like trying to keep it together, but they were like red and doing the like, Ey! yeah. And he's <laughs> over like holding strong, doing whatever. And then at the very end, he makes some joke about holding a turkey leg. And for whatever reason, that's what did it. And he just that's like through the edge starts <laughs> crying, laughing. And I was like, oh man, I've never seen him crack before. It makes me so happy. Oh, that's good. Oh, that stuff is the best. Yeah. It's always so funny. Like the stuff that doesn't make it when they're just ad lib. Yeah. It's like. I don't know how they choose because if that didn't make it, then I'm like, man, how do you decide like what's the funniest of the bunch of all the hilarious. Right? Plus all of those people in one room. Like I can't even imagine. Like, what gets the most laughs? They have, like, a sound bar. Right. It's like, well, galaxy of this is camel dicks, clearly one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question two. This is not a multiple choice. Which hard seltzer has the largest market in the U.S.? Bianca. Bianca. White Claw. It is White Claw with 54% yeah. of the market. Hate it. <laughs> Real judgy. It just doesn't do it for me. It doesn't. Yeah. 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 I think truly, like generally, trulys are the most like favorite like flavors, but mm -hmm. White Claw is like the biggest, I think. It's region. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Well, speaking of that, bonus question. What has the second highest market share? Anthony. Yeah. Okay. Anthony. Ah. Truly. It's truly. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Speaking of that. Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> She's holding, holding my white grudge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's one of those drinks where it's like all the bloat and none of the buzz. Yes. Like you're like, oh, yeah, I definitely, yep, I definitely feel fatter right now. I 100% have buzz. to pee. Yeah. 100% don't feel the thing. of the time, yeah. It's like, you, That's you why you drink Bud Light like Platinums and not Bud Light. Oh, right, right. Sounds classy. <laughs> or some Natty Ice. They're probably yeah. next on the list. To no, never. Never drink Natty Ice. <laughs> never. I don't even know what that is. 
Good. That's Not okay. Worry. Let's keep it that way. You're good. <laughs> okay. True or false? Vodka weighs more than water. Bianca. Bianca. True. It is not true. Anthony, do you have what? a guess? Uh, Anthony, <laughs> Anthony, I would like to say false. It is false. <laughs> the potatoes weigh more than water. <laughs> <laughs> Those carbs are heavy. I mean. I think it has to do with the distilling process and all that stuff, like whatever they take out. So it's whatever. less. So if you put it in with water, the water will go to the top and that will just go down? I think it's the other way around. Wouldn't it rise? Sure. I think the the more dense stuff goes the, to the bottom with liquid. This is about yeah. booze, not science, yeah. you ladies. Yeah, listen, we're too drunk Clearly. to be doing this math right now. <laughs> Roughly, question four. Roughly, how many grapes go into a bottle of wine? This is multiple choice. A, more than a thousand, or B, less than a thousand? Anthony. Anthony. Less than a thousand. It is less than a thousand. They what? say six six hundred grapes goes into one bottle of wine. Yeah, a thousand grapes is a lot of grapes. Six hundred grapes is a lot of grapes. That still throws me off because I'm I've been to wineries and I'm like, man, this is a first of all, who counted? Secondly, <laughs> that feels it's an like intern. A lot. It's an intern. Don't worry. <laughs> this PA. bottle tastes like there's six hundred and seven <laughs> grapes in my wine. More tannins. Those are the more expensive ones. If you got yeah. extra grapes and you paid for it. <laughs> Bonus question. True or false, the color of the grapes indicates the color of the wine. Bianca. Bianca. False. It is false. And I got a stupid best the blonde question wrong because Philip said it was true. It's not true. No. <laughs> and that's how I do. And that's why he's not blonde. Yeah, he doesn't know these things that I know. I it's, know. I was like, where have I heard this? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'll cycle stuff back through because I'm like, I have I have recorded these facts in another episode that never saw the light of day because the audio quality wasn't good. And so every once in a while, somebody will say something and I'll be like, wait, I know this. I don't know why. I don't know from where, but I know a thing. <laughs> and then like, I can't cite like it. Vu. <laughs> Can't say to have no relevant pertinent, like, here's a resource for how I know this thing. I'm like, no, I just know. Red grapes can make white wine. Okay. Question. Red grapes can make white wine? Mm -hmm. Yes. And white grapes can make red wine. Stupid, right? Stupid. Doesn't make any sense. Bonus, bonus. All spirits, which is not a Halloween term. It's code for, there's a bug. That was Does weird. Does want to come on? I don't even have anything in this room. Where did it come from? Sorry, sir. Celebrity guest. <laughs> Can he answer my He'll question? He'll be on my interview panel next week. <laughs> <laughs> he rates and reviews. One star died. We're going to, wait, wait, wait. We're going to rename this the Wisecracking Ninja. Because that was amazing that you just turned and like squashed him. I know. The bug was like on her wig. She's like, there's a bug. <laughs> And age. I'm over here like, wait, grapes make red wine? White grapes I know, you're make still, red wine? The bugs all, I'm here for the content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan. I just subscribe yeah. to your YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you God, damn it. Stars. lost the subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> bonus, bonus question. All spirits start out as what color? Bianca. <laughs> I love your confidence, Bianca. <laughs> it's there. I'm oozing with it. Uh, false? I'm just kidding. Clear. <laughs> it is clear. And then they take on the color of whatever thing that they're seasoned in or fermented yeah. in or whatever. Pro tip. So. Pro tip. Mm -hmm. Don't drink Pro anything tip. blue. Just don't. Uh, if it's blue, I'm going to have to write blue. my science teacher Carrot from uh, 2002 because... I don't remember her teaching this. Listen, the whole Common Core thing took over everything, and then nobody oh. was concerned about it anymore. It's unfortunate. About real things that adults deal with, like alcohol. Yeah, and taxes. Yeah. Okay. Question five. This is a little long. 
61% of countries in the world have this as their minimum drinking age. It's a multiple choice. 18 to 19 years old, B, 20 to 21 years old, or C, 15 to 16 years old. So the majority of countries have which age as their minimum drinking age? Anthony. Bianca. Anthony. C. No. <laughs> Sorry. <it's> not <laughs> no? Bianca. No. Bianca. <laughs> A. It is A. C. Yep. So 116 countries. Yeah, you can start drinking at 18 to 19. Wow. I feel like most of those countries, they don't even check. So it's like. I was. There's a couple countries as well that are like. It was like 10 Whoa. to 15 was the oh, drinking geez. age. And I was like, I mean, at that age, like, why would you even, like just be like, oh, you're born. Here's a beer. Like, if you're going to let him drink at <laughs> yeah. 10, get six. Who cares? We're weaning him off of breast milk. We're switching him to <laughs> <laughs> Put a little IPA in his bottle. Definitely helps him sleep at night for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps him fuller longer. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to put oatmeal in, but they decided against it because all the hops are really good for you. Right. Yeah. Okay. Bonus question. True or false? More than 15 countries do not legally allow drinking at all. Bianca. Bianca. Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> true. I would say... True. No. I was just kidding. It is true. true. <laughs> yep. 16 okay, countries yeah. do not allow drinking. Um, and they're all Muslim countries, so they have exceptions for non-Muslim people because it's just right. a religious choice. Yeah. Yeah, that's a low enough number that I would assume, you know. Yeah. Probably. It's like a particular region. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there was... Oh, I didn't write it down. It's probably a similar number that had no minimum drinking age at all. Like, it was like, whatever. Really? Whatever. Yeah. Ooh. Just go. <laughs> Iceland, sure. what's up? Is that one of them? I don't know. I don't know. It was a lot of <laughs> countries. It was a lot of, like, there probably was not a lot of exposure to alcohol anyway that they were like, why don't like, we make we a law really about that? They're like, we really don't have bars Stupid. here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't even really know what this is, but sure, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but Russia's close, so, you know, we yeah. get vodka. So. <laughs> okay. This one's just for you, Anthony. Are you ready for this? Oh, just for me? Yeah. Okay. You'll, you'll know why. Which 2004 movie starring Sandra Oh is set in Santa Barbara's wine country? Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't because it's not actually alcohol facts. <laughs> oh, the only thing I know she was in was Grey's Anatomy. That's the only I thing don't... I know. It was not Grey's Anatomy. I don't, I don't know who that is. I don't know. Oh, you, you do? don't know Sandra Oh. Oh, you probably would if you saw her. It's pretty. I probably she's... would. Yeah, what she's movie? recognizable if you saw her. What movie? Yeah, it was about wine tasting and wine drinking, and it was like a bunch was of bridesmaids, middle-aged folks. Nope. <sighs> Can uh. I'll give you a hint. It's not forward ways and it's not backward ways. Bianca. Bianca. Sideways. It's sideways. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. What is sideways? It's just a movie about wine drinking. <laughs> and finding yourself. What? Yeah. Sandra's always oh, Sandra O oh. is in it. Come on. Come All right. On, My ex girlfriends have so much explaining to do <laughs> because I do not know what the hell sideways is. So <laughs> Philip and I had been dating for like two years and I regularly would be like, Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not gonna happen. Or I'd be like, None for Gretchen Wieners or whatever. And eventually he was like, Is that from a movie? As if I was just like saying it for fun. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's from Mean Girls. And he's like, oh, I've never seen Mean Girls. Mean and I had a, Girls? No, I had a moment where I was like, you've never seen Mean Girls? You know, can we like do this? Some, yeah. I, at some point I made him watch it and he was like, oh, it's not my thing. I'm not interested in this. And I was like, oh, well, I understand. How am I going to make all my references? Who's going to listen? Who's going to understand? <laughs> she doesn't even go she's here. Oh, here. <laughs> Sideways, I don't even. Is that on Amazon? Where can I see this? I don't even know where I can see this. I don't know. This. It's from 2004, so you can probably see it. You can check it out oh on Quibi. Gosh. It's in the D DVD bin you know, at Walmart. I was busy doing boot at the camp bottom. in 2004, just so you know. Like, 
Oh, bragger. Oh, bragger. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me they don't make you watch Sideways in boot camp. I know, right? You know. Yeah, we're not the Air Force. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question seven. This is very long. There was a story circulating that the lines on the Solo Cup were alcohol measurements for a shot, wine, and beer. Have you heard that story? Where it was like bottom line, middle line, whatever. Solo came out and debunked that and said that that's not true. Instead, they said that the bottom line on the cup was actually for what? This is multiple choice. A, the amount of chocolate syrup needed to make chocolate milk. B, the proper portion of mouthwash. Or C, the amount of grenadine needed for a Shirley Temple. Bianca. Anthony. I'm going to say Shirley Temple because it makes no sense for the other two. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's not the one. Yes. <laughs> Bianca. I mean, the, the line is pretty high. That's a lot of grenadine, so I get it. <laughs> for the bottom one. What was what were the last two options? Uh, or the ones that... or chocolate syrup? Ew. Uh, <laughs> chocolate syrup? Yeah. Well, that was a lucky guess. Yes, it is chocolate syrup. Yay! <laughs> well, why would you put mouthwash in a solo cup? Just like down it from the bottle. I think they were trying to rebrand their image from away from like, oh, these are boozy cups because they had all these recommendations for stuff that was like, oh, but you could use it for this and you could use it for that. And it was like trying to. They were like, actually, they were like, you, a can, family you product. can put your cereal in it and eat your cereal. Like it, they clearly were like, we have to get out of this. Like we are only used for beer pong. Sort yeah. Of so, mentality. The, <laughs> so the chocolate was for what? Chocolate it's milk. supposed to be the amount of chocolate syrup you need for chocolate milk. That Have you ever poured chocolate into a solo cup? I feel like it's going to stick immediately mm -hmm. to that solo cup. I've never and used not a solo cup mix. For anything other than booze. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So their marketing <laughs> so sucks. Yeah, they're like they're just trying to spin the PR at this point. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is for mouthwash. All right, let's just because I keep those in my bathroom all the time. It's like a giant solo cup. You can put it in your oven and bake a solo cup muffin. Okay. Right, 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 right. Yeah. And that's how you get firemen to show up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we were talking about so we were talking about the story earlier and I totally lost my train of thought. Surprises no one. Bianca and I used to work for a company that had an annual meeting that was also a costume party. And there was it was a costume contest and I'm very competitive and you know how I am with my costumes. So we uh we went as firefighters. I think that was the thing, right? It, it yeah. went to do whatever the theme was. I don't remember. It's but like we heroes, went as firefighters. heroes or something. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Um, and Bianca wore a Dalmatian onesie, and she was the dog. She I was, was like, like, "Can I be the firehouse <laughs> dog?" <laughs> <laughs> so we were all firefighters, and she was the dog. It was super adorable. I had like I think felt we ears. I yeah. had a nose. Oh, yeah, we you totally painted won. your nose. Yeah, we had Bianca, you were color. like the ultimate team player. You were <laughs> oh. just like down for anything. Yeah. No, yeah, no, like I needed to be the dog. Like, <laughs> yeah, no contest. So then yeah. we're all, because it was the Delmar Fairgrounds, and we're all like in the front <laughs> setting up for pictures or whatever. And here rolls in an actual fire engine with actual hot firefighters oh. getting <laughs> off of this truck. And I'm just there like, and here's me. Like, <laughs> dog <laughs> Yeah, it was good oh, times. Yeah. We had some good great. times in that. <laughs> so fun, for real. And then I ran into my ex-boyfriend as a dog, which, like, there's really no better way. Oh, gosh. It turns out I was that bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he probably called it all along. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it was one of those moments where you're like, I'm definitely doing better without you. And you're, like, in uh -huh, your dog I've made costume. It <laughs> with my cider. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Delmar oh, cider. It was good times. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, no, we we had migrated to a pizza place. I think I was still drinking uh, beer then before it hated me. Yeah, I don't even remember uh, where we went. I feel like I remember that whole interaction. I know. I ran up to you and I was like, I just ran to my ex boyfriend uh, has a dog. <laughs> and you were like, Of course you did. And I was like, <laughs> uh, Yeah. Question eight. The most expensive bottle of alcohol sells for $3.75 million a bottle. 
What kind of alcohol is it? <laughs> Anthony. Anthony. Tequila? It's not tequila. Bianca? Bianca. The kind that's served in Jesus' shoe? <laughs> <laughs> um, can you elaborate? Are you close? <laughs> is it a wine? It's not a wine. Do you want to keep guessing? Or just go through all the boozes? Or do you want me to tell you? Uh, I should have waited uh, to be the last one to respond. Think about, like, no. the drink that is, like, the base for a lot of mixed drinks. And if you see, like, a person getting bottle service, it's usually this type of alcohol. Vodka. It's vodka. <laughs> I was like, it is potato water. Uh, yeah. The grape, if it's made, you know, more fancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this vodka is, uh, it's called billionaire vodka, which I find ironic because they sell it oh, for God. millions and not billions. Uh, and it's decorated with diamonds and gold and delivered by a personal courier, which it better be for $3.75 million. And the courier better be serving it to you in Jesus' shoe. And not wearing clothes at all, male yeah. or female, doesn't matter. You get, you get to, to pour choose. it off their body and then yeah. it. Yeah, I agree. Does it come with Can you house? imagine being that rich? No. That you're like, like down their back into the crack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like the, the Kim Kardashian magazine cover right. where it's yeah. just like up yeah. and over and over like her butt. Arching or over. Yeah. Have you guys heard of that? The, the man that was in the Moulin Rouge circus for a long time because he could suck in air through his ass and water and a bunch of other stuff. So, like, I imagine it being shot out of his hole <laughs> into your mouth. <laughs> well, you know, they do that all day in the Philippines, so... True. Like, you know. Up to two liters, though. That's impressive. That's insane. Yeah. Two liters? Yeah, dude. He likes Do you house. realize you have that That's, skill? I he went like, swimming no. once. <laughs> <laughs> and the pool disappeared and he was like, wait. <laughs> he was like, wow. Yeah, he like brought it up to his pediatric doctor. And the doctor was like, you're fine. There's, it's fine. Okay. There's, fine. It's all fine. in your butt. You're okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he like joined the Navy or he joined some sort of service and he told the story and they were like, no, there's no way. And then he did it. And he could still do it. And then he went on to join the circus. And now he's in the oh. Avengers. Yeah, yeah that'll actually, be the next phase four or whatever. Getting, he did really well, but then he ended up getting fired because he started um, performing fart tunes to give his <laughs> um, gingerbread <laughs> cookie making friend business. <laughs> What? And they were like, you can't be farting for anyone else. Was this on a podcast? How do you know so mm -hmm. many details? <laughs> uh, I listened to a whole story about him. <laughs> oh, true crime is not where it's at anymore, oh guys. <laughs> like, is this like a This I American know. Life episode this or something? This is what I want to know about. Like, who <laughs> can suck in two liters of liquid in their butt? That's oh, my oh, gosh. Man. That's real history. It's impre yeah, it's impressive. It's... Uh, you could give yourself your own colonic and like not even could you bat an eyelash. Yeah. Like a the sphincter four, muscles must be. Like a daily enema. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right. That was, that was a cool fact. We'll put the link to whatever the podcast was in the show notes just for anybody who wants to check it out. Uh, bonus question. No Googling, no thinking about it. Fastest answer. How many zeros are in a billion? <laughs> Bianca. Anthony. Bianca. Twelve. <laughs> it's not twelve. Ah! Anthony. Nine. He's counting. It is nine. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys ready for this? No. Yes. In what movie? I'm sorry. Bonus. Bonus question. In what movie does the villain plan to take the world hostage for one billion dollars? Anthony. Anthony. Uh, Austin Powers, it was uh, Goldfinger. Nope, Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> Bianca. Gold member. Austin Powers, gold member. Uh, I didn't even get into the specifics of what I just wrote down Austin Powers, so I'm going to give you both. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus I question. Think, <laughs> I think you are correct, though. Goldfinger was the 007, and gold yes. member was the oh, Austin true. Powers. Yeah. Okay. 
Question nine. What are the two alcohols used to make a sake bomb? Mm. <laughs> Bianca. Bianca. Sake and beer. Yep. We got to a point where we would go out and then every time we would go out to eat, we'd be like, oh, I'm going to get one booze or whatever, like one mixed drink. And so then you spend $14 on one mixed drink and you're like, well, that was nothing. That was totally yeah. stupid. And you don't feel like yeah. so, so you're like, well, I should yeah. probably spend another $14. Yeah. I should, yeah, throw good money after bad and be like, you know what? I'm just going to have a second drink to help myself feel differently. And then you spent two booze monies and didn't get any sort of anything. And so at this point, I'm like, I'm going to drink before we go. You're going to drive. Yep. I'm going to drink before we go. So I'm mm-hmm. a little buzzing when we're there. And then. If I order a shot, I order a shot. But anytime you ask for anything mixed, you're just like, they're not going to put yep. anything in it. <laughs> right. You're like, yeah, $56. You're like, do I really need the 401k? <laughs> <laughs> Bladder's full. Yeah, like the one time me and my bestie shared a pitcher of margarita. We were like, this is a great way to get the night started. Oh, my God. We yeah. got like super bloated, watered down, <laughs> not that buzzed. Like- Dude, margaritas do that to me too. We went to – we took a trip to – santa cruz and went to this like super cool fancy old restaurant and i was trying to be healthy and so the martini or whatever that i ordered was like a basil and lavender it tastes something. like soap it was soap it was yeah i was <laughs> like this is like laundry detergent and i forced myself to drink it because it was expensive and every time i was like hey, it was so gross you got a stain on your t-shirt you yeah. just kind of dipped a napkin in your drink and you're like, <laughs> probably would have it was so gross and i swear it had like a soapy froth on top too uh, i was like how did nope. they make this thing it's lavender they were like we're out okay let's put some gain in this bottle and just like shake it up <laughs> ah, okay perfect lavender <laughs> johnny what did we tell you about unloading the dishwasher there's still soap film on this it's fine they won't even notice <laughs> Oh, I noticed. And they, this is the trouble with being cheap is that Philip's like, it was $14. Just don't drink it. And I'm like, I'm going to drink it because it because was $14. It was $14. <laughs> like, why would you yeah, make right. yourself so miserable for 14 Like, it's 14 It's two. Co- it's three copies. You're fine. It's just, just don't drink it. And I'm like, no, it's the principal no, thing. I'm not going to spend yes. $14 on nothing. <laughs> and it's such a short moment of, com- of un- un- comfortability. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I dragged it for like an hour. I was like, eh, it's uh, so bad. It's still and then you spend it. 12 hours recovering. Yeah. It was totally not worth it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Demand my $14 back. He's like, we can have them. Just just have them make you something else. And no, I was like, no. Because they're going to spit in it. In it. In <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy logic, you ladies. Ugh. No one likes that. Not doing it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Anthony's like, um, there's two extra ice cubes in this. <laughs> I'm like, we got it covered. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Bonus question getting back on track true or false more than half of the wine consumed in the world is sake anthony anthony i'm guessing that Matt was not a call in. uh <laughs> i mean i'm gonna say true it is not true bianca do you have a guess you know what <laughs> these true false a lot of pressure what did you say, Anthony? <laughs> uh, I said false. False. <laughs> <laughs> it is false. Twenty percent of the <sighs> worldwide wine consumption is sake. Wow. I guess China mm-hmm. doesn't drink sake. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm guessing China doesn't go with sake. Do they not? Well, because it's rice wine. Well, so I, I, I yeah, so, I, you know, if you think Philippines, Japan, Korea, they might drink sake, but if China was involved, you know, it's going to be more than 20%. Maybe they're just not big drinkers. If they don't all drink, yeah. Yeah. This is sake. Did so I'm contributing to the 20%. Where do you this go? one's you apple, get... but yeah. Oh, yeah, the apple. That one's mm-hmm. good, too. Yeah, I have, Where's to go, from? I have to go to Temecula to get this. That's and an then, hour from Oceanside? Yeah, it's probably like 45 minutes to an it's hour. It's an hour for me. Oceanside Isn't is one weird? of those weird places. Yeah, it's because I have to cross all the way across Oceanside mm-hmm. to get to the freeway to get. I have to go There's, from here oh, all the way. Oh, you're at the SD. beach. Yeah. There's 40 different ways to get there, but each one is going to take about 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get to the freeway. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah. it. But yeah, so I go up there. I buy everything they have, which is usually six bottles. Yeah. And then bring it back and it lasts me a month and then 
Back I go. Go back. Yeah. This uh, hockey's pretty darn good. Okay. It sneaks up on you. It's clean. This one's the best. I get these this from sushi restaurants. It like comes. It's Hana sake, and it is like usually comes in its own bottle. Where that's what you're buying is the bottle of the thing, and then they'll bring you a shot glass. Um, but they just don't sell it locally for whatever reason, and so my alcohol has to drive up there, and it's worth it. That's not true. Philip drives me up there because <laughs> you heard I my driving my last story. Bottle <laughs> as he drives me to get more. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's such a trooper. He's he's like, my car is tiny, and he drives an SUV, and so everywhere we go, he's like, I'll drive. And I'm like, oh, but I'll drive. You drive everywhere. And you're he's like, like no, it's okay. Your car sucks. Me. I don't want to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> like, and you're okay. like, okay. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I hit my head getting in. My thighs are too big for your seats. Like, I'll drive my car. Like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Question 10. This is it. This is for... All the marbles because the score is not that close. These three things have what in common? Oh. Yeah. These three things have what in common? <laughs> I was supposed to look something up and I didn't. 16 ounces of beer, four ounces of wine, or one shot of 80 proof alcohol? Anthony. Anthony. Uh, the numbers don't sound right, but are they the same blood alcohol content within an hour consumed? Oh, this is mm. a lot of silence. I'm trying to... I don't know that you're wrong, but I don't know that oh. you're right. I feel like I have... You gave me too much in that answer. Oh, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Bianca. They are all equivalent. In what way? Uh, you will drink them? <laughs> uh, they're all the same blood alcohol content consumed. They're yes. all the equal amounts of alcohol. Yes. <laughs> to both. Point five points each. <laughs> you ready for the final score? Yes. It's not I looking guess good. So. It's not looking good for the rematch. I'll tell you that. Okay. In second first place with a score of... Nine. <laughs> Nine goes to Jason Voorhees Part Two. And with a score of 14 is Dirty wow. Banana coming back. Ugh, no. Good job. It's a dance. Oh my. What the? <laughs> it's a victory <laughs> dance. <laughs> Anthony's like, can we go back to the delay? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can we please go back to the delay? <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm really bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you lead with that. So you just like, the next topic is going to be like, different dog breeds in Bend, Oregon. And you're going to be like, I'm really bad at this. I'm really so bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I don't, are we on to rematch part three? I feel like at some point. This has got to even out. Yeah, we're. I, 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 I'm still holding out for the the 2000s trivia or something like that. Or, Magician, I don't Median magicians trivia. Well, will be the next. I feel one. like I'm gonna have an advantage. There. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You'd be surprised. Just oh, lead, really? Just lead in Maybe with. I don't know anything trick. about this. Yeah, Sounds exactly. like a challenge. <laughs> I can disappear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just cut her in half and then answer every question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I always say. I say it's the disappearing boyfriend a trick, not the reappearing boyfriend trick. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Throw her in a tub of water and call it a day. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining. If you have not yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe on all of the podcast channels as well as YouTube so that you get access to the episode first. We will have more episodes of Best the Blonde coming out. If you have not yet listened to Best the Blonde, it's not available on the YouTube channel. It's only on the audio version of the podcast. So check it out. It is basically we are competing against each other to see who is smarter. I'll be honest right now, I'm not doing very well with it. So Phil is the host on that <laughs> one. He's asking questions. Hasn't gone well so far. I think he asks me 20 or that was supposed to be what he asked me. And then as I was counting it back, I got like 12 right. And I'm like, well, <laughs> those, are, those are failing numbers. So it's not looking good. So you probably will feel smart if you listen into those episodes. So thank you so much, Bianca and Anthony. I really appreciate it. We'll schedule rematch number three. We'll see if we can find some way. Uh, some way to give me a fight. redemption yeah. of any sorts. I'm just going to start mute, muting Bianca's audio. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> like, I don't hear her. Do you? <laughs> She's on the screen like, hey. <laughs> <we in." laughs> All right, kidding. guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope you laughed a lot and learned a little too. Bye, guys.